Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, it is time for a Super Saturday Gallery shout out. I want to lead off, though, with a huge thank you for helping me reach 44,000 subscribers. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget you can find this link in a heartbeat. I'm going to show you how to get there from my website. Of course, there's a Tinkercad tab, lots of awesome categories. And down below the day one favorites, useful starters and the Tinkercad essentials. And right here is the link to see the new shares. Now it was quite a week. Check out this awesome project of columns and arches. Once again, ZDP allows you to copy and tinker so that you can check it out. Just remember the golden rule of Tinkercad. Before you ever copy and tinker, give a reaction. ZDP also shared a really cool technique for making double arches. Of course, I appreciate it, so I'm going to give him a reaction. Also, Sonic the Hedgehog built the awesome F-22 Raptor. If you hit view in 3D, check it out. It loads super quick. And Sonic, those are absolutely awesome. Nice work, giving it a wow. I also had a note from Kibli. Friends, if I have answered these, it would be cool if you took the tag out because they're just not as fun to look at as the designs. If you get a chance, friends, you should also check out the Gradient Bumper Pack. So many awesome gradients. Of course, give a reaction. These are Copy and Tinker, and I will have more videos about them coming out soon. Speaking of Kibli, check it out. This is the sweet limousine. As you can see, it takes a moment to load, has so many cool features. Fantastic project, and of course, thank you so much for sharing. Here we have my F1 car. I modded it to support the National Champions Team 144, the University of Michigan. Of course, friends, if you check it out, reactions are appreciated. And if you look right here, this is the tutorial that got it started. Next, we have a fantastic Sans. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So cool to hit view in 3D and be able to zoom in and check it out from every angle. Of course, giving that an awesome. And this right here is a submission for the Domino Pixel Art. Neat idea. Of course, I'm giving a reaction. The final new one for this week is from ZDP. Of course, giving it an awesome and hitting view in 3D. So cool to see it load. That was the camouflage getting added. Fantastic project as usual. ZDP, nice work. And thank you for sharing. Friends, it is set for copy and tinker. So remember that rule. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Friends, a quick reminder, if you want your designs to be in this list, all you need to do is tag them with HLMT23. I will check out whatever you share, and of course, I will give you a reaction. Friends, this is also a quick way to find all of my projects. If you click on any of them that say HL Mod Tech, all you need to do is click right here, and you'll be able to see all of my current designs, including the brand new SimLab projects. Both of these come with parts, quick videos you can copy and tinker and learn how to make these awesome creations with the new SimLab connectors. Quick reminder, if you want to join the Domino Contest, you've still got a few days. You can copy and tinker to start building. This is also another one where you can copy and tinker. And watch the tutorial to learn how I made the awesome apple. Of course, you should make something different and then you can submit it to the contest. Friends, the final thing I want to share with you today is from Chansey67. Check this out. We can hit this plate and this will actually steer the wheels. Real quickly, these are custom wheels. You can see up here is the working steering. And then you can see back here, there is the axle with the moving wheels. Now this project is not set to copy and tinker yet, but let me just show you how these connectors are working. If we jump into SimLab, you can see all of the pieces, the geometry is becoming finalized. It does take a moment, especially with objects that are more complex. It is entertaining to watch those little critters pop. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to show you that the frame is static. All right. And then the rest of these you can see are set to still move. So when I hit play, you can see the wheels are gently spinning. That is just because they are dangling and not touching. 
and check out this suspension with the connectors I can steer the vehicle now I hit it too hard so it broke but I'm just gonna reset and I'm gonna hit play again back up a little bit and see what we throw at it the lobster did not break it and you can see we are actually steering by using the awesome connectors in sim lab I'm gonna try and get the wheels to move <laughs> check it out we have got independent wheels that is so darn awesome once again this is created by chancy67 i'll make sure there's a link to his projects in the description of this video and hopefully sometime soon it's been shared to the hlmt 23 tag finally friends let's wrap up our saturday shout out by taking a look at the gallery of course you can see all of the awesome staff picks Remember, if it's one of mine, there is likely a tutorial. If not, there will be a bit.ly to get you the tutorial so that you can gain the awesome skills. Of course, if you look below, you'll likely see other projects that I'm promoting. And then also, friends' reactions are always appreciated. What I love to do, though, friends, is to click right here and shut off the staff picks. Go to the larger grid and then find some fantastic projects to check it out. And of course, give them reactions. That is fantastic. Check out this fun zip line by Daniel Guy. That is absolutely fantastic. Notice he is allowing copy and tinker, so make sure you follow that golden rule and give a reaction first. All of these projects are absolutely fantastic. Note this cool car that reminds me of the brand new SimLab wheels and axles. I've got a tutorial that'll show you how you can make that move in minutes. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.